is the Little Red Schoolhouse aware of this incident? Yes, they are. And according to an email sent to parents, which we've obtained, the teacher seen in the video has since been let go. They say that she is not returning. They say the behavior is inconsistent with school policy. Parents say they're happy that immediate step was taken, but they still have concerns. Nap time at the Little Red Cottage was allegedly met with aggressive handling by a teacher. According to the daycare, this video was taken earlier this month in the Rainbow Room by someone who applied to be a teacher. In it, you can see a child squirm around. A teacher then smacks the child on the backside with the phone, drags the child from the leg, then pulls her up by her arm to place her on a sleeping bag. In it, you can hear the child's head thump. A former employee tells WWL-TV that's not the first time that teacher has exhibited similar behavior. A second, less aggressive video is also circulating of a different teacher also pulling a child by their arm. Lauren Pillier's two-year-old attends the Little Red Schoolhouse. She says the videos are concerning. My child also struggles to nap, and I was seeing my child in that video. Um, you know, it wasn't my baby, but it easily could have been, and I was scared, and I'm scared now. Pillier says she's always had a positive experience with the preschool. The teachers have been wonderful. The school is very communicative. She's learned so much. She loves going. According to the school, the teacher in the first video will not be returning, which Pillier says was the right thing to do. But she says she still wants answers. It didn't seem to be hidden by the teacher, and there were other people in the room. So I was concerned that it wasn't something that seemed out of the norm. I also wanted to ask them what steps are being taken to make sure that this is not happening to any other child. Some concerns were addressed by the school in an email sent to parents Thursday. According to the email, school administration was not made aware of the videos until Tuesday, June 20th by a concerned parent. They say two other full-time staff members were in the classroom at the time, at the other side of the room. According to them, no staff member voiced concerns. The school says they will be refreshing the staff this week on mandatory reporting policies, which require certain individuals to report when they believe a child's physical or mental health is endangered. The Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office tells our partners at NOLO.com the special victim section is investigating. In an email to parents, the school says they have also been in contact with the State Department of Education and the State Department of Child Family Services.